All right, what's up, YouTube? How's it going? It has been a hot minute since I posted a video, so I wanted to get back into the swing of things. Uh, in this set of videos, I want to showcase some of the challenges from the B-Sides Connecticut CTF or Capture the Flag competition. I was there just this past weekend. It was awesome. Uh, I actually gave a talk. It was just a blast. And uh, the game is still actually online. I don't know if you'll be able to reach it by the time you watch this, but it is ctf.bsidect.org. So I competed with a good friend of mine, Caleb. Uh, his name is Illicit Tiger in the Discord server. I don't think he's that active all that often. Uh, but we played on the team named Butter Overflow. <laughs> the team name was my idea, so I totally want to take credit for that. Uh, and that was that was awesome. We came in first place, and it was just a really cool thing. Actually won a small little HP stream laptop from it, um, and it, it comes with Kali installed, so hopefully it'll just be a nice tinker toy for Hack the Box or Volan Hope with some, some dedicated stuff, so I don't have to use my own laptop. But it was really cool. The, the competition had this nice little setup for the challenges, just based off the state of Connecticut shape. Uh, I didn't use this. I went for the classic theme because it's just a regular CTFD game. So I want to showcase a couple of these. Hopefully I can talk about the conference more in another video. There's some other interesting stuff with that. Um, but in this video, I just want to run through the trivia challenges and then I'll do everything else that I can in later videos. So trivia, uh, first challenge is number. Uh, actually, before I dive in, sorry, I just want to cover because the, the point value on some of these is, is very interesting. Uh, in the rules page, you can read a little bit about the CTF. It's simple. Don't be a jerk. Kind of fun, kind of cool, etc. And the scoring rules is that this is using dynamic scoring. It'll automatically adjust the challenge values based off the number of teams that have solved it. So uh, each challenge will start at 500 points and it will go down as people solve it. But the scores for the people that solve the challenges will obviously, uh, or not obviously because sometimes this doesn't happen, but it's better when it does, uh, they will change as well with uh, the value of the challenge itself. So whatever. Let's dive in. Um, that's why some of the challenges have very, very low point, because a lot of people solve them. Some of them don't, because not many people solve them, etc. But you'll be able to see that when we actually take a look at the challenge, you can see the number of solves and who solved it and when. So, there we are. Cool. So, challenge number one is Connecticut's first B-Sides conference was in 2011. Can you believe that? How many B-Sides Connecticut events have there been, including this one? So... This video is not going to be that technical, right? Because it's just going to be covering the trivia video challenges. Um, this is an interesting one. Uh, it's a simple dialogue that I actually just kind of... I had a conversation with one of the organizers there, Ill Will, or X Ill Will, I think, on, on Twitter. Cool guy, awesome guy. Um, thank you, for one thing, for squeezing me in for the conference and all, if you happen to listen, whatever. Um, so... I had a conversation with him before the competition got started, before the conference really got going, like, well, I got my badge and was registering and everything, was just saying hello. Uh, he said that they've been doing this right since 2011, but they were doing it every other year. So that would have meant uh, 2011, one, 2013, one, 2015, another, 2017, following that, and then 2018, this year was when they've just started to go, okay, now each year. So that is, from what I believe, a total of five, and I believe that's what I answered. Maybe I'm wrong <laughs> right now. It, does, it just says you've already solved this. But the thing turned green, so uh, maybe that was already... What, was that the correct answer? Um, it's just going to turn green, whatever I put. So I believe it was five. <laughs> I didn't save the answer, but I just tried a few numbers and got it. Uh, some of these challenges are interesting because I was able to just literally try numbers and, and guess the flag in a horrible way. Um, but we'll come to those challenges when we come to them. Next challenge was, what's my pen name? This didn't come out until about later in the afternoon. Uh, same thing with I've seen this before. This trivia challenge was released later in the game. I think Who Is This Guy was the only other one that came out just at the very start of the game. Uh, we solved it just a minute in. So this uh, this one, Who Is This Guy, is a picture, 0.jpg, which we can download. Uh, looks like I've already got it downloaded. Fire it up, and it's a picture of this dude. I don't know who he is, so let's go ahead and try and Google it. I use Google Images, like Google Reverse Images, because if it's a thing that exists, maybe we can just track it down. Google Images, images.google, and we can drag and search for something specific with that. So let's go ahead and just open a file manager and drag that picture in. Okay. And my internet connection is not the best here, but it kind of Googled specifically for the animal. It looks like it found a newt in there or whatever. Um, it looked like it was able to find that picture here in just a, a LinkedIn thing. I tried that name, Daniel Smith, etc. And then I went ahead and clicked on it. Um, but I just got the Google image results itself. Um, it looked like just this description here was Josh Leffers. I don't know if that's anyone 
special or important. I don't know, but I went ahead and submitted that, and that was the answer. It was Josh Leffer. So just some cool recon, trying everything that you could find. Uh, just, I don't know, throwing stuff at the wall, seeing what was sticking. So, okay, next one was, what's my pen name? It says Eric Corley is the only description in the lead that we have. So I simply Googled that, right? I'd Google Eric Corley pen name, and that came up very quickly. Frequently known to was the pen name of Emmanuel Goldstein. So I was able to copy-paste that in and get the W. Next one is, I've seen this before, and this is a simple string that looks like nonsense, but you might be able to recognize, okay, it's, these are words spelled backwards. So I've, I think I, yeah, I had it open and idle when I was testing with it earlier. Um, we can go ahead and just paste it in and go ahead and reverse it. So it says spandex, it's a privilege, not a right. Uh, I hadn't seen that before, but again, simple Google stuff, recon, OSINT. Um, it looks like after some scrolling down through that, it was from the movie Hackers. At least that was the assumption. So I honestly just tried that. There wasn't a whole lot of guidance in this this challenge. I just entered Hackers, and that was the correct flag. So, okay, very cool. Um, that's just the trivia challenge category. So again, there's not a whole lot of technical stuff in there. Uh, the really cool stuff will come in later videos, but I hope this may be a little bit fun, a little bit interesting for you guys to watch. Uh, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Before I go, I do want to give a quick shout-out to the people that support me on Patreon. Thank you guys so much. I cannot say it enough. One dollar a month on Patreon will give you a special shout-out just like this at the end of every video. You'll just kind of have your name added at the very, very end here. And uh, five dollars a month on Patreon will give you early access to everything that I release on YouTube and online before it goes live. So I like to try and record a lot of things, hopefully, when I'm going on a, on a good streak, um, and get them ready and prepared for YouTube to schedule their uploads and then gradually release them. So if you want the content right when it's ready, that's the best way to do it just a simple five dollars and i'm and i'm super grateful for it thank you for helping support and helping me put food on the table just a dude trying to live and stuff so <laughs> all right please do join our discord server link in the description it is a cool community full of ctf players and hackers shut up i'll stop talking about my spiel and crap like that i'll let you get on with your day thanks again for watching guys see you soon i love you